On Friday, a bunch of middle school and high school students confronted Diane Feinstein at her office to demand she back the Green New Deal. Some scientists have said that we have 12 years to turn this around. Well, it's not going to get turned around in 10 years. What we can do Senator, if is this put doesn't get turned around in 10 years, you're looking at the faces of the people who are going to be yeah, living with yeah, these consequences. What? The government and is supposed to be for the people and by the people. <laughs> but for once, an adult wasn't having it. Feinstein spoke truth to toddlers. Because there's no way to pay for it. I've been doing this for 30 years. I know what I'm doing. You come in here and you say it has to be my way or the highway. I don't respond to that. I've gotten elected. I just ran. I was elected by almost a million vote plurality. And I know what I'm doing. So, you know, maybe people should listen a little bit. Oh, my goodness. She's about five minutes away from telling them to get out of her yard. <laughs> but what does that remind you of when Feinstein says to the kids, there's no way to pay for it? She sounds exactly like a Republican talking to a Democrat. Finally, the sketcher is on the other foot. Now, I'm sure some people thought Feinstein was too mean to the kids, who were no doubt parroting slogan, slogans programmed by adults who see the kids as conduits for the latest left-wing software. But the truth hurts, and if you're going to use a kid as a political shield, you put them in the way of the truth. More important, if you don't feel a little gross when you see kids used as props, there's something wrong with you. Mind you, these kids are pushing a plan that bans fossil fuels in 10 years. Do you think in a few years they'll feel the same way when they get their learner's permit? But don't blame them. It's the parents, the teachers, the activists. They know that their untenable political positions require propagandized pawns to survive. And you got to get the pawns when they're young. And then hope and pray they don't grow out of your stupid ideas. I am going to, Je Jesse, I'm going to start off and say that this works on both sides. I can't stand kids on the left, brats on the right. Do you remember? You can't stand kids. <laughs> I can't stand kids. Do you remember Jonathan Crone? Does that ring a bell? Yeah. This kid was yeah. all over Fox. Oh, yeah. Was he like, at CPAC. Yeah, he was yeah. like 13, right winger. He was just, yeah. they were trying to I get him. I interviewed him. You, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to get him on Red Eye. I, ref I said, like, no. no. I go, he's no, not no, on Red Eye no. ever because I know it's gross. And it's now he's a lefty. Yeah, he's a lefty. He's a lefty. Yeah. But he's actually a decent reporter. He like goes to Syria. He's like, a, he's actually become somewhat of an individual. So maybe these kids are going to turn out to be conservatives. Exactly. Just like you, Jesse. Uh, just like me. <laughs> Those sure. are little Jessies. Listen, I, I, you know, these kids have bedtimes. They shouldn't be running U.S. industrial policy. <laughs> they can't even play with matches. Um, you know, and all of a sudden she's supposed to say, oh, you're right. Great point, Susie. Let me go tell my staff. We're all going to die in 12 years. It, it, I, it's funny how she handled it. It's kind of like a grandparent during Thanksgiving when the grandchild yeah. comes home from college and they start talking about global warming and the grandparents like it's freezing we're going to naples in two weeks what are you talking about <laughs> so i think there's two things going on here one in the, on the left when you're wrong you get promoted for instance al gore said all the polar ice caps were gonna melt in 20 by 2014 well they're still there and what's her name aoc says the world's gonna end in 2030 but i bet we wake up in 2030 and she's even more powerful it's called failing up and what's also happening in the Democratic Party, it's now split into three groups, Greg. You have the adults, and you have the children, mm -hmm. and the adults pretending to be children in order to win the election. Yeah. The adults are like the Schultzes and the Feinsteins that know the thing's a scam. The children are like the AOC and the Bernies that actually believe this stuff. And then you have the adults pretending to be children to get elected, like Booker and Feinstein, that know it can't work, but they pander to these people in order to get votes. Yeah. Well, let me, uh, let's throw to uh, just one more piece of tape from that little meeting. This is my favorite part. We're the people who voted you. You're supposed to listen to us. That's your job. How old are you? Jobs. How old I'm are 16. You I can't vote. Well, you didn't vote, vote for me. Well, she, I'm she, 24. She it doesn't matter. We're the ones who well, 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 impacted. <laughs> Reality check from Diane. It's not just somebody who's had it. I mean, you didn't vote like, for me, yeah. so get out of here. You. You're 16. You can't vote yet. <laughs> or are, you, are you one of my illegal voters in California? Maybe that was it. But Jesse, kids can't play with matches, at least those ones, because yeah. they emit carbon dioxide. Oh, that's right. And actually help, you know. We are anti arson here. Well, I can tell you, as a child who won a recycling art contest when I was like nine, oh my God. I can tell you this is all indoctrination. And AOC got on her YouTube or whatever, her. her live feed mm -hmm. and was talking about how the world was going to end and we had to do something about it, which proves that these people believe in so much government that they think government is the only response to any of this or we're all 
going to die. These predictions were made before. In 1970, Paul Elric predicted that 65 million Americans were just going to die off as a result of the environment. Well, that never happened. And so this is indoctrination. It's a leftist group that came into her office with a special interest project. They used kids to do it. And I thought she reacted pretty well. One, can I, do you want, we've been, we've mentioned AOC. I try to, like, I try to keep our portions of AOC down to 5%. <laughs> but if I, Fox, Way they're all like, oh, no, throw the, throw the AOC out there. <laughs> this is her talking about, like, what you should do in an apocalyptic scenario that we're facing now. <clears throat> Sorry. The issue's gotten worse. So I don't think that working on an issue for 30 years alone is what qualifies as is what makes someone qualified to, uh, to solve an issue. So it's basically like there's scientific consensus that the lives of children are gonna be very difficult. And it does lead, I think, young people to have a legitimate question. You know, should, is it okay to still have children? I Ooh. agree with her, Juan. I think you do. <laughs> you know that. I do. Yes, she is do. saying all of her peers don't have kids. I'm saying, Nobody, that because the you know, kids just get in my way, Juan. Is that right? <laughs> yes. And they emit greenhouse gases. Oh, sometimes involuntarily. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All over yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, by the, the way, I, I think that some of the polarized caps are melting. I, I just, I caution Well, he you. said they you were know, all going to melt. Yeah, Juan. but I just got to say. They're polarized. I, I think Greg was trying to save you guys because things like Turning Points USA, March Light, boy, a lot of young kids who are out there and used as the face of that conservative... They're adults, Juan. No, they're, they're kids. They're adults in I can college. tell you, I've, no, they're a lot of them are high school and college kids, and they don't vote. They're not 10 year These old. are babies. Oh, but let me so. just say... These are even, babies. No, I thought Senator Feinstein, who I have tremendous respect for, know her, like her yeah. very much, had an opportunity to engage those young people. Now, I must say, I spoke at a high he school did, this morning... did, in a realistic form. And you know what I said to them? I said, you guys don't vote. You don't give money. And that's what the <laughs> senator was saying. You don't vote, you she, don't give money. But that's she a pretty cynical thing expensive. to say to young people mm -hmm. who are becoming politically engaged, who are making a visit to Washington, a visit to their senator. She missed an opportunity. I agree. She knew, I think, I, she knew it was a trap. But I, what's I the trap? She, There's the no trap. The trap is that you have a bunch of kids no, there reading rehearsed them. talking points. You have a, a grown adult standing right there. This happens all the time in schools. I worked at a school. You have an adult or a moderator or, or a dean or whatever it is, and they want their agenda pushed, so they hand kids a bunch of propaganda, and then the kids repeat Excuse it. Excuse me. She knew it. She you, was standing there saying this if, is a big joke. If those joke. kids came to, to, to yeah. you or to me, Jedediah, yeah. I think we could hold on to... Uh, our positions that had been worked through, but at the That's same time, edited, hold on, Juan. hold on. At the same time, make those young people feel special. Juan, and she didn't do that. I would have said no, to those, those young those people, adults are lying to those kids and dying Feinstein because they're telling them this is what we can do. It's totally reasonable, and she's the only adult who's actually told them the truth. She's saying she we can't pay no, no, for yeah. it. Okay, I don't. I disagree. With, if you consider her truth, and feelings you, are not, uh, it's the, because her truth agrees with you, Kate. No, 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 you want to oh. have you want to have this discussion on <laughs> feelings, and she was being honest no, about the cost. I'm just saying, young people, those kids, they should be told that it makes a difference if you go she see your elected that. representative. Well, she said, they will listen. To one, she said, one. I'm putting forth important climate legislation, but we can't uh, pay for this. She's not, she doesn't want them well, to be delusional. Not not, they they said delusional. the kids were going to be alive in 12 years. That's a bad thing? No, that's a good thing. <laughs> that's, I mean, think because about, beats, think that, about that telling your kids. kids. Greg said he doesn't want any tell, kids. Tell, well, no more about, grandkids for you. Think about what kind of parent. What kind of parent tells their child, you're going to be dead in 12 years? <laughs> right. That's a great parent. So the other thing, too, is I, my, my, I'll go. But I think that using kids is a way to avoid a real debate. If I yes. put a kid yep. up here in front of me, uh, you have to, you end up, you don't give your best foot forward. You don't, can't argue with a kid. So maybe every Democrat should bring a child up onto the debate stand. <laughs> that would be great. Have the child. The out. That'd wait, be wait a second. You mean I can't bring Jesse to work anymore? <laughs> hey, uh, I've been bringing you to work. Good uh, on thoughts. On a leash, too.